What's up, Ghost Game 7? Salute to Wayne Williams. Let's check out the brother as he goes in and works the crowd hard. Peace. All right, all right. something that you just you love doing and you don't think about what could be you know right. it's just kind of like you do it out of the love of doing it so this I could never imagine in my wildest dream wow. you know what I'm saying it's like but you come to something like this and you've got 50,000 people you know and everything that you do you take the music down you take it up the people react to you it's like it's like a drug right. you know what I mean oh, yes. it's like you're a puppeteer and you can just kind of manipulate and move people where you yes. want to it's fun it's a lot of work. Yes, I'm it's sure it is. a lot of work. I'm sure it is. This is probably the first year that I've had a little bit of fun in probably 10 years. Really? Yeah. Just trying to get everything together? And yeah, well, I hired more staff this year for this because usually I'm the one having to run around and do it. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. Well, it's all good. I know that you um, you have many roles in, in your musical career, from a producer, from a DJ, promoter, um, being in the music business. What is, what is your favorite role or, or the role that you feel like defines you? Or do you feel like they're all just a part of who you are? Okay, I, was gonna say, I don't think I have any one. You know, I, I do so many different things, and I think all of them are some of the whole. Right. You know I mean, they're all integral parts. It's kind of like when you look at an artist who is just an artist, they right. just sing, right, right, right. they just dance. It's like, okay, well, you know, you don't really want to call them one dimensional, but it's really one dimensional exactly. because you have to rely on everybody else to do a job for you. And right. if nobody does what they're supposed to do, or one person doesn't do anything right, Exactly. Where's your career? Exactly. Where do you go? Right. So for me, it's always been about, because I started like 
not really knowing what was right. going on. You know, I was a DJ. I play music. Right. You love so, doing what you love. Yeah. yeah. So I play music, and then when I'm taking, you know, lessons, different musical lessons from, you know, piano to drums, guitar, all that kind of stuff. So for me, it was a natural transition. Right. Because, you know, being musical and understanding musical progression, you know, I took one and applied it with the other. Exactly. Then, when I got to the point where I figured I could take that a step further, then I started a record label, which I had nothing to do. And then, we started doing our own distribution. Right. We started naming our own prices and people are paying them. Yeah, right, right, right. So, all of a sudden, it becomes this whirlwind and a snowball effect, and you're like, okay, well, how do we get here? Right. You just build it's like one it's step just a ride. at a time. Right. It's just a ride, but right. in the process, you learn how to do everything that you need to right. get to the point right. where you are. That's one thing I encourage, because I do a lot of consulting, okay. artists and artist development, things like that. And one thing I encourage everybody is to, to not just be one dimensional. Okay. Get in there and learn the process because at the end of the day, it all comes back it's to you. It's your product. It all comes back right. to you. And if something goes wrong, you can't blame somebody else. Right. You, have to you need to yourself. have the knowledge and the power exactly. in your hands. Exactly. That's great advice. Well, thank you very much for giving me this interview. And again, it's an honor to be able to do this today. Thank Glad you. you guys have Check out Jamie 326 over there exercising the right to jack his body all night long. Ghost Camp 7 taking me back on stage with Mike Dunn. I want to give a Ghost Camp 7 salute to all that made things possible for me and my staff. Big up to Leah, Jesse Saunders, Silk Hurley, Crystal Waters, Miko, Stan Zell, Mika, Swift, Vanessa, Cypher Fest, my man Eugene B. Robert Williams, Rocky Jones, and all staff at the Chosen Few. Thank you, Kurt. Oh, we 
Chosen Few. Uh, we just picked up our Lifetime Achievement Award uh, in 2013. Our uh, record label is um, uh, the Original House Company, and uh, it's taken uh, 23 years to get a Lifetime Achievement Award. So the thing is, is uh, stick with it. Um, house music can let you no wrong. And, um, and uh, the real deal is, house music was here in Chicago uh, originally, and uh, the whole world is now dancing. House music, whether you call it EDM or you call it whatever, but the real deal is it's here in Chicago by the DJs um, who created that music, 